Hey everybody, before we get started, I just want to let you know I'm probably going to make a few goofs in this run through and if you want to know what they are, be sure to set your subtitles onto the Klingon channel. That's right, the Klingon channel where all of my mistakes will be dutifully recorded. Kapla! And now, today Rado runs through Magic Maze, which is a real-time cooperative game that I'm going to be doing a run through of today, joined by my wife. Hi, honey pie. Hello, honey pie. Hello. Are you ready to um, engage in some petty larceny. I wish there was some other explanation for this. Here's the story. <laughs> Our uh, group of hapless heroes here apparently did a very poor job at the local dungeon, barely made it out with their uh, with the uh, clothes on their backs, and they lost all of their weapons. And so what have our brave heroes decided to do? They've come to the local shopping mall where they're going to shoplift to get some new weapons. <laughs> mm. So what we're trying to do is get these four heroes, the purple wizard, the orange barbarian, the... Uh, or. I forget what show you. Yeah, the orange dwarf, the yellow barbarian, and the green ranger uh, to uh, search throughout this mall. And it is a big deck of tiles, and over time we will expand the mall, and we are looking to find our weapons. And let's see, of course I I can say you happen to come across a weapon tile. I'm sure, yeah. Uh, boom, we here's the third one, and over here. In the corner, out of the way, is the purple potion that the wizard wants to find. So we need to get this purple wizard over here. Now, uh, you know, here's the, the green bow and arrow that the ranger needs. So he needs to get over here. And here's the, the sword for the barbarian and the axe for the dwarf. Now, so over time, we are searching, you know, we're splitting up, searching, exploring until all four characters get to their chosen weapon. As soon and once they are all on their weapons simultaneously, that is when, with perfect, like Ocean's Eleven precision, <laughs> they will all snag their item. At which point, the alarms go off. Yep. And the place is shutting down. Security is tightened. And now everybody has to get from their weapons that they found to their appropriate exit. And if we can get everybody to their exit after they've all gotten to their weapon and they all have to be there simultaneously, we win the game. We lose the game if we run out of time. The game comes with a three minute sand timer, although we're gonna get more than three minutes to be able to do this because as we're exploring through the uh, mall, in addition to finding our chosen weapons, we'll find these hourglass spots where if somebody moves on that, we get to flip and get hopefully more time. Not a good idea to flip when it's almost empty, but when, or you know, when it's mostly full, when it's almost empty, you're getting, you know, just a little bit less than three more minutes. And then this is used up can't be used again. If I recall, I think there's four of these. There's one in our first room, and then there's a few more of them scattered about mm. that we will stumble across, and we need to use those because uh, otherwise we'll never make it out in time. So anyway, here is the dungeon. It's all shuffled up, and there's a couple of more things of note worth mentioning. One is I do not take on the role of the purple wizard or the orange dwarf. Mm -hmm. I control all four of these characters, as does Jen. We co-control. Yep. Even if we were playing with a full player count, I think this goes up to eight players, everybody shares control of the adventuring party. And that's where these come in. This indicates what orders I can give everybody. I, um, you know, and this is random, it, I'm not even looking, and it still came out the same way. So I have the capability of making people move north and east, and I can activate the vortexes, which are kind of like transporters. Jen, she can make anybody move south or west. She can make people use escalators, like this escalator right here. Um, and she can also make them open doors. Because you'll notice the, uh, the doors are color-coded. Only the Green Ranger can open this door. Only the uh, dwarf, the orange dwarf, can open that door. So like, right off the bat, the ranger's over here. We need to have him move down and then over, then take the escalator, then open this green door. That's less than ideal, because we have to split that up. One of us can't do it all alone. Jen has to move him south, then I have to move him east, then Jen has to make him use the escalator, then I, uh, oh, and, oh, Jen does the escalator, and then she has him open it. But here's the problem. 
the dwarf is in the way. These characters are walls. They cannot move through each other. So we got to get Dwarfy um, McDwarf out of the way um, to allow Green to get over there. Dwarfy, he needs to get up to this door. Um, yeah, everybody's kind of in the worst yeah, possible spot. Yeah, this is totally random. And also, this is a two-sided. This is the easy side. We could have the harder side where there's a lot more walls. But we're just going with the easy. And um, But there are ways around that. Because um, what Jen could do right off the bat, she could, since she can move west, she can make um, the dwarf just move out of the way. And now green can, and then, and then she can move green down, and then she'd have to wait for me. This is the tricky thing. She might do this and then this, and then she hopes that I'm paying attention because now it's my job to do this. Yep. But here's the thing. And then it's my job to do this and that. Exactly. But the problem is, I might be thinking about other stuff. Yep. Or I might have put guys in positions where I'm desperately waiting for her to do something. And that's where Jen's, one of Jen's favorite game pieces of all time comes yep. in. Because there's one huge restriction. You might think, well, this doesn't sound that hard. That's actually pretty simple. You just do, do what we just talked about. Yeah, there's a timer, but this isn't too hard to figure out. Simple stuff. Except we are not allowed to speak at all. So, um, uh, yeah, we have to figure all this out without any communication. Actually, that's not true. The rules say there are two ways we communicate with each other. One is we can stare very intently. You know, so in that situation where Jen moved in, then moved in, and she's waiting for me to move green, she's like... This never works. Yeah, and it, yeah because you, you, you can't grunt, you can't point, you can't um, do anything to draw attention to what you want. Um, this is a mistake Jen often When I eventually do figure out what she wants, she often goes, yay! You can't even do that because that's giving information to your teammate that that's what you want them to do. Yeah. You can't say or indicate anything except just stare. And if staring doesn't get the job, you can take the do something token. That's what this is called in the rule. To, and you can say, put it in front of them because that is the only means you have to communicate. I am waiting for you to do something. Yep. And then they don't do it. And you say, and they say, what? I don't know. Because, you know, right now it's pretty simple. We just got one room. But pretty soon, this is going to be a big maze. All our guys are going to be spread all over the place. Yep. So. And the, because we do change jobs. That's the next thing um, I was about to say. Thing, you just, sometimes you forget which one you're supposed to be doing. Indeed. Um, Jen, jump to the gun. Sorry. I was going to say, when, you know, we're running out of time all the time. We can hit these hourglasses, uh, which will get us more time, uh, which is great. And there's even a greater thing. Every time we go to an hourglass, we can speak. Um, you know, we, we can start talking it until somebody makes a move. We can talk all we want, which is, and this is, I, hopefully Jen will do better this time, but she has this real tendency of, okay, we're going to talk, and then she just moves something, and then we can't talk because she's always under the pressure. Yep. So we can talk until somebody makes a move. The other thing though, that's all good. When we hit one of these hourglasses, the bad thing is our job shift. Everybody shifts the uh, clockwise around the board. And suddenly you just spent two minutes programming yourself to think this is my job. It's not your job anymore. It's somebody else's job. And that can really mess with your head. Right. Um, and so there's a reminder here. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm explaining all this up front because once the game gets going, we'll have a hard time explaining Plus all this. Plus, we can't talk. Yeah. Um, well, obviously, I'll talk a little bit. I mean, I'll probably have to pause every once in a while to maybe explain something and, and all that. But we'll, we'll, try to, we'll try to stay true to the rules as much as possible. Once everybody's on their weapon, this flips over because this is the other reminder. The transportation, the teleporters, the vortexes no longer work. So you can't use them on the way out. You can use them on the way in. Let's say um, Orangey Dwarferson had worked his way over here, you know, to open this door, right? Because we needed to open the door. And then the next tile that came up. By the way, when tiles come up, they have a little arrow. So you always put the arrow in the direction the person moved into the room or, or you know, search to open the room. And now we're thinking, well, um, there, the, we need a, we need the wizard and the fighter over here. We don't need Dwarfy in this room. He's not doing any good. Whoever controls the vortexes anytime they want, they can pick up a character and teleport them to any matching color. So Dwarfy can instantly go, um, you know, could be over here and then just over there. So this is a very powerful tool, but once uh, we're trying to break out the, uh, the, it goes away. Yeah. So that's something to bear in mind as well. So that is the story. 
And let's see, are there any other things? Uh, yeah, that's those are the basics. Get them to the weapons, get them to their exits. Uh, every once in a while, ex expand uh, term. What happened? You didn't show what the exit had. Well, yeah. Oh, the exits. Like, here's the green exit. And an easy way to spot them is, this is the tile that's green exit. The All the walls of this are green. Um, here's the yellow exit because all the walls are yellow. So they're easy to spot out on the map. So we got to do one shuffle. Last thing I should say is we are playing Scenario 3. The game is really interesting in that it comes with, like, what is it, like 15 or 17 scenarios. Um, at the beginning of the game, you play really simple, and as you go through the higher level scenarios, more and more stuff gets introduced. We're playing at level 3, which is kind of really the base game, um, which is where, at this difficulty level, that's when our jobs shift and whatnot. Um, but, as you go up in higher levels, all these characters start getting special powers as well. Now, we're not going to play with the special powers right now, but we'll show how those work in the extended playthrough. Alrighty, and uh, that's it, honey. I think we got everything. Okay, yep. All right, and you are, you're the uh, door opener and the escalator. I'm the warper. And before we get going, we can talk all we want about this. I've just shuffled them up again. Mm. Um, orange has to get here. Green still has to get here. People, but green is still in the way. And yellow and yellow, yellow and purple can get out of the way. And then we can start, you know, moving these guys around to yeah. get where they need to so go. So let's, actually, those are both my moves. So I'm going to do that and explore real quick. And I guess you're just going to sit around. All right. Then, um, <laughs> so let it be. So let it be written, so let it be done. And uh, we can shout at each other Actually, with that. You can get green out of the way and get orange going if you want. Huh? Green needs to come this way. I know, but if you can get him out of the way, then orange can... Oh, I see. Yeah, guy can, yeah. okay, that's fine. All right, then. Are you ready, honey pie? I am red day. Here we go. Three, two, one. Whee! All right, and Jen started the timer, of course. Yeah, because that's important. All right, and... Um, right, and so I'm just... Right, so Jen is, um, you know, all these guys are in position to be able to open doors. Jen's just opened a whole bunch of doors, and um, and Jen's doing all, all those powers. Wow. Oh, look at I did it all. Yep, she doesn't even need me, it's does she? Me. Um, in the meantime, though, I can move north, so I'll do that. And what else can I do? Okay, so what do I can do that. And I can do that. And I can do that. And, uh, all right, so, and Jen was just reminding me that I need to do something, which I believe I did sh shortly, okay, mm. and the maze is starting to get bigger, I'll just zoom out a bit while Jen's uh, thinking, all right, and I can do that, and I can do this, and, mm. all right, mm -hmm. oh, that's, this whole thing like this a little bit. All right. That was my um, humming music. Yep. Yeah. We're not. I'm not supposed to. We're not. It's supposed to be quiet as the grave in here. But that's not much fun. So, yeah. You can feel free to hum if you want. Hey, and she's reminding me. Hey, do this. Which uh, and do that. Hey, look at that. Okay. And I can do that as well because I'm Mr. North. Uh. Let's see here. Uh, and since I'm also Mr. Vortex, I can do that if I want, and I can do that with Mr. Vortex, um, at which point I will tell Jen to do some business. Uh, da, 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 da. And what else can I do? I can do that, Mr. Warping Mr. All right, Jen's escalating, and... Uh, I don't know why she just did all that. Um, she moved orange all the way over here to a purple door. Okay, I'm gonna use my warping technology and move orange over here. And then I'm gonna do that. And we'll see if Jen thinks there's something to do with that business. Meanwhile, um, hmm. D, 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 oh, boop. D, D, D. Oh, and, all right. All right, I'm gonna go on ahead. Orange is in position. One of our guys is in position. And uh, Jen just noticed we're running low on time here, so Jen's gonna make a big move. Okay, and we can so talk. we can talk, which of course we've been talking all the time, but now we can actually talk about what we wanna do. This is okay. done. So. Our jobs have switched. Yeah, we got two more tiles. And what, what's the situation? So green, here's green section. We haven't found green's purple. place. Purple's gotta get all the way over there. I'll teleport him over no, here. I'm teleporting these days. Oh, I'm not teleporting. No more, folks. Nope. I'll um, teleport purple to there. 
Right, yellow, yellow, I was just trying to get him to this door okay, over here. Okay, but yellow here. wants to go there, but we still need to... But I mean, but he's the yeah. only one who can open this door, yeah. and that door. Okay. Um, and we have two more tiles to yeah. open. And there's no yellow uh, Where's green need to go? Here's green exit. So we haven't found green's weapon or yellow's weapon, is that correct? So we have to go through these. Okay. Green could teleport over here, but... That's no good. Um, where's okay. green's other door? Well, let's... All right, let's just focus on getting yellow, get yellow All right, go! Okay. All right, what can I do? Oh, I can do this now. I'm Mr. South. Okay. And, I, and I'm also Mr. West. I'm... And I'm Mr. Esk... Why is... Wait. Um, okay. And I'm Mr. Door. Hey. Hey there. And I, dang, look at that, Jen figured it out, folks. Okay. Um, right. Okay, so we've gotten all our tiles out. Now we just got to get people into the correct positiones. Um, and Jen doesn't see what I see, but that's okay. She's forgetting that she's got teleportation powers. Um, she just... Oh my goodness gracious. Um, how can I get her to... All right. Oh, yay, Jen remembered she has a teleporter. Okay. Um, zoom. And... Zoom, zoom. Uh, right, zoom, right, my other zoom, my all important zoom. And I zoom again. I'm not used to all these jobs. And. All right. Uh, hmm. Now, okay. Boom! Look at that! Uh, right. Yeah, look at that! All right, zip, zip, zip. And I'm just gonna go on ahead and get us some time. Even though we've still got a fair bit, but let's go on ahead and flip swap it. Jobs. Our job swap. Okay. Everybody, all right, as soon as he gets in position, yep. then all the teleporters go down. We gotta get them to their exits. Yep. Are you ready, honey pie? Well, yep. let's stop talking, let's start doing it. Well, go for it then. Alrighty. Oh, because I now go this way. Yep. Yes, I do. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay. Honk, honk, no more honk, warping. Honk. Uh, alarms are going, we all gotta get them to their exits. Uh right, and and Jen is taking away the thing that I can shout at her with. <laughs> Yay! Boom! Um, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah! Yes, that's right. And it continues to be right. <laughs> See, that was actually kind of, I would say we're, yeah, because we are indicating by showing, oh, this is why I want to move, and then I can't move it, so this is cheating as well. Make no mistake. We're big fat cheaters, is what I'm saying. All right. Now, if we were really good players, we'd be doing multiple things at once. Um, I can't even see where the damn exit is, or the gosh darn exit, which Jen was not supposed to tell me, but I wasn't even supposed to say that I couldn't see it, because if we could cheat more, I think we would, but we're like masters of cheating. Jen was a bit startled by that move, but it seemed brilliant to me. <laughs> and, um, right, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, right. Ah! We like 
literally a half a second. Jeez. <laughs> I wonder what I mean by that. I, mean, mm. I didn't even pay. All right, so, okay, so now we've got all the time in the world. We can do a very leisurely yes. walk out. Wait, we got to swap jobs. Yes, we are. Oh, yeah, we do have to swap jobs. Oh, my gosh. Oh, dearie. I mean, there is a timer. I, I, I <sighs> was just trying to get over here. All right, we have swapped jobs. Man. <laughs> I will leisurely remind you of your responsibilities. Okay, very good. Where are you going? Oh. Hooray! There we did Actually, it. That last bit was yours, sorry. Yeah. There we go. All right. And that, folks, was one quick Woo! mad dash through the magic maze. Like I said, we were playing on level three, which is basically the introductory. If we played on level one or two, the main difference is there's only one exit that everybody shares, and that's at level one, and at level two is, what do you introduce at level two? Level two is when you introduce, no, level two is when you introduce individual exits. Yeah, and then level three is when we introduce the swapping jobs. At level four, we will introduce green's job at level five, orange, so on, until there's a whole bunch more jobs. But if you want to see some of that, if you'd like to watch a different take on this, you can go ahead and hit that I in the top right corner of the screen to go to the extended playthrough, or you can go to Final Thoughts. Your choice in five, four, three, two, one.